Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the VA characteristics of PN junction diode. Okay, now let's see the VA characteristics in the forward bias. Okay, if you see the forward bias connection here, this is called as a PN junction diode. It is having the two terminals, P type and the N type. Now this is the supply voltage. Supply voltage is indicated by the VS and it is a positive terminal of the battery and it is a negative terminal of the supply. When the positive terminal of the supply is connected to the P type and the negative terminal of the supply is connected to the N type, then we can say that the diode is in forward bias condition. Now, if you see the structure of the uh, forward bias, so this is a supply positive terminal and the negative terminal. It is a VS supply voltage. It is having the two types, P type and the N type. This P type is, in P type, the majority carriers are poles. Poles are indicated by positive sign. In P type, the minority carriers are electrons. Electrons are indicated by the negative sign. If you see the N type here, in N type, the majority carriers are holes. Oh, sorry, electrons. Electrons are indicated by negative sign here. In N type, the minority carriers are holes. Okay, in between the P type and N type, there is a depletion region. Okay, here it is having the negative ions. Negative ions are indicated by the negative sign and it is a positive ion here. It is a positive ion. Okay, in this depletion, uh, this is called as a depletion region. In this depletion region, there is no movement of the charge carriers. Okay, that's why to get the movement of the charge carriers, so we are giving the external supply here. Okay, this external supply voltage should be greater than this barrier potential. Then the diode starts conducts. Okay, in the positive terminal, uh, so here in the P type and the N type, this positive charge carriers and the negative carriers, this movement will take place when we give the forward bias. Okay, here this whole direction is towards this junction and this electron direction, the current direction is also towards this junction. Hence, in the, if we give the forward bias to the diode, the depletion region width is indicated by WD, depletion region width. It is degrees. Okay. Depletion region width is degrees, and the, uh, there is a movement of the charge carriers, and the diode will be in the on condition in the forward bias. Now, if you see the characteristics, okay. So now let's draw the uh, PN junction diode practical diagram here. So this is called as the resistor. Okay. Take, uh, for example, I am taking the one kilo ohm resistor here. So this is the PN junction diode. So across this diode here, <clears throat> here, I am connecting one voltmeter. Across this diode, I am connecting one voltmeter. This voltmeter is used to measure the voltage across the diode. This voltage is called as the forward voltage. Okay, this is the positive and the negative of the supply voltage. And I am connecting one ammeter here. Okay, this ammeter is used to measure the forward current. This ammeter is used to measure the forward current. Now, <coughs> let's see. So, what are the values we will get practically? If we conduct this uh, experiment in the lab, we will get the values like this. It is a supply voltage and it is a forward voltage and it is a forward current. Okay, now if we increase the forward voltage, okay, uh, up to we will reach, uh, this diode will reach the forward voltage of 0 0.1 volt. Up to that, we have to increase this voltage. And if, we, if the forward voltage is equal to 0 0.1, at this time, uh, we will get the forward current is equal to 0. So up to 0 0.5 volts, there is no conduction. At 0 0.2 volts also, current we will get 0. And if we increase the supply voltage again, at 0 0.3 volts of the forward voltage, forward current is 0. Again, at 0 0.4 volts also, it is 0. And 
at 0 0.5 volts also it is 0 and at 0 0.6 volts it is the there is a slight increases the slight increase in the current at 0 0.7 volts the current increases drastically okay now uh, for these values if we draw the graph if you see the characteristics we will get the characteristics like this on the x axis we are taking the forward voltage on the y axis i am taking the forward current here it is 0 0.1 volts and the 0 0.2 volts okay up to 0 0.7 volts so this point is called as a this arrow symbol this is it is called as a 0 0.7 volts okay at exactly 0 0.7 volts the diode current increases here that's why this voltage is called as a cut-in voltage. Okay, 0 0.7 volts is called as a cut-in voltage. Cut-in voltage means the voltage where the diode starts conducting is called as a cut-in voltage. Okay, this cut-in voltage is indicated by V gamma. Okay, it is for silicon. Silicon, it is 0 0.7 volts. And if it is for germanium, germanium, it is for 0 0.3 volts. Okay, so after 0 0.7 volts of the uh, forward voltage, okay, here it is a forward voltage, after 0 0.7 volts, the diode current starts increasing. It starts conduct after 0 0.7 volts, if it is a silicon diode, if it is a germanium diode, it starts conduct at 0 0.3 volts. Okay, up to 0 0.7 volts, there is no conduction here, the current is 0. Okay, after 0 0.7 volts, the current increases. So, okay, this, this is the, these are the characteristics for the forward bias, okay, these characteristics for the forward bias characteristics, okay, we will draw the forward bias characteristics in the quadrant one, okay, <clears throat> now, let's see the reverse bias characteristics, in the reverse bias, the negative terminal of the battery supply and the positive terminal of the battery, it is, it is a supply, Vs, it is a P type of the diode and it is a N type of the diode. Here, negative of the supply is connected to the P type and the positive terminal of the supply battery is connected to N type. Then the diode is in reverse bias. Then diode, we can say the diode is in the reverse bias condition. If you see the structure here, so it is also same as the forward bias only. It is a negative terminal, but the terminals are reversed. Yeah, it is a negative terminal. It is a positive terminal. In the P type, the majority carriers are holes. Holes are indicated by the positive sign. And the electrons are indicated by the uh, negative sign here. In N type, the majority carriers are electrons. In P type, the minority carriers are electrons. In N type, the minority carriers are holes. Here, there is a layer. That layer is called as depletion region layer. Okay. Here, <coughs> in this negative ion, the negative ions are more here compared to the forward bias. Here, the negative, here it is a positive ions. Okay. In this depletion region width, there is no movement of the charge carriers. Here, the neg as the negative terminal is connected to P and the positive terminal is connected to N, this P type and N type, this current and this P type current and the N type current, this whole current as well as the electron currents move towards, okay, away, away from the junction. That's why the depletion region width is decreases, increases, sorry. This depletion region width is increases. And the depletion region width increases, there is no conduction of the PN junction diode. Okay, as the depletion region width is increases, there is no movement of the charge carriers and the diode will not conduct in the reverse bias. Okay, now if we combine, <clears throat> if you see the reverse bias characteristics here, it is a negative and a positive and it is a P type and it is a N type. Okay, in the reverse bias, I am in the uh, Y axis, <coughs> here we are taking the reverse current here, it is indicated by minus I. As the reverse current is very small here, that's why we are taking the ranges in microamps. This is a forward volt, uh, reverse voltage indicated by minus V. Okay, in the reverse, uh, if we increase the reverse voltage here, if we increase the supply voltage, okay, continuously, okay, there is a slight, very narrow increase in the reverse current here. Okay, after reaching this point, Okay, this this point, this voltage is called as reverse breakdown voltage. After reaching this reverse breakdown voltage, the current increases drastically. 
okay the voltage where the diode start increasing in negatively rapidly is called as a reverse breakdown voltage okay this is the reverse bias characteristics of the pn junction diode in the reverse bias the current flows reverse current is very small the range is in microamps okay so after reaching this breakdown voltage the reverse current increases drastically so that's why we have to operate the diode up to this point only so if we operate the diode beyond this point the diode will damage okay that is this river as the both are in the negative volt negative uh, minus v and the minus i we, we have to draw the uh, reverse bias characteristics in the third quadrant okay this is about the reverse bias characteristics here now if we combine the both the forward and reverse bias characteristic the characteristics are like this here this is a forward voltage and it is a reverse voltage and it is a forward current okay this is the reverse current on y axis we will take the current on x axis we will take the voltage and if you see the forward bias characteristics up to certain voltage up to 0 0.7 volts there is no conduction here so after rating after reaching to the cutting voltage that is 0 0.7 volt it starts conducting these characteristics are called as a forward bias characteristics this point is called as a knee point knee point the, what is cutting voltage the cutting voltage is nothing but the voltage where the diode starts conduct is called as cutting voltage after this voltage the diode starts conducting up to this voltage there is no conduction the current is zero so now we'll discuss about the knee point knee point is called as a, the point where the diode starts increasing exponentially is called as a knee point so from this knee point the current increases suddenly drastically increasing okay up to this point there is no increase in the current there is a slight increasing after this point the current increasing exponentially that's why this point is called as a knee point now if you see the reverse bias characteristics in the reverse bias where is this uh, if you increase the reverse voltage here so there is a reverse current increasing very very less current is in, uh, less current is flowing in the reverse bias okay that current range is in microamps the forward current range is in milliamps but the reverse current range is in microamps because the in the reverse bias almost the current is in off uh, the diode is in off condition that's why very small current flows here in the reverse bias condition that's why we will uh, take the the current range is in microamps very narrow current flows here very small current okay after re reaching to the certain voltage the current increases suddenly okay so these are the forward bias and the reverse bias characteristics of the pn junction diode in forward bias diodes diode conducts and reverse bias almost the it blocks the current it will not conduct in the reverse bias that's why pn junction diode is called as a semiconductor because in forward bias it conducts and reverse bias it blocks the current okay in reverse bias the uh, current is very small that's why pn junction diode allows the current only in the one direction that's why it is called it is called as a unidirectional device in forward bias it is on reverse bias almost it is off okay these are the forward bias and the reverse bias characteristics of the pn junction diode if we combine the va characteristics of the silicon and the germanium as we discussed just now the cutting voltage of the silicon is 0 0.7 and the cutting voltage of germanium is 0 0.3 if we if we combine the both uh, uh, characteristics of the silicon and germanium uh, these are the characteristics we will get uh, this is called as a plus i it is called as a forward current okay this forward current is indicated here by plus if and it is called as a reverse current minus i r and it is a forward voltage that's why it is plus vf and it is a reverse voltage minus vr okay the forward uh, the forward current range is in milliamps the reverse current range is in microamps because very small current flows in the reverse bias okay here if you see the silicon diode the in silicon diode the cutting voltage is 0 0.7 volts okay the cutting voltage is indicated by v gamma the cutting voltage of the silicon is 0 0.7 volts and the cutting voltage of germanium is 0 0.3 volts okay if we take the silicon diode this this is a characteristics for the silicon 
okay in the silicon diode the diode starts conducting after 0.7 the cutting voltage of silicon diode is 0.7 if we take the germanium diode in the germanium diode the cutting voltage is 0.3 volts okay this these are this is the characteristics for the germanium okay now if we take the reverse bias characteristic this 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 is the characteristics for the silicon and this is for the germanium okay if we combine the both the germanium as and the silicon characteristic so okay the characteristics we will get like this okay in the exam they will ask you draw the vi characteristics for the silicon and the germanium both we have to draw in the same graph like this okay for the silicon the cutting voltage is 0.3 that uh, 0.7 that's why it starts conducting from 0.7 volts if it is a germanium diode it starts conducting from 0.3 volts okay now this is a reverse bias characteristics for the silicon and this is the reverse bias characteristics for the germanium okay this is about the vi characteristics of the silicon as well as the germanium okay now let's see some definitions we have studied up to now if you see the cutting voltage the forward voltage at which the current through the junction starts increasing is called as a cutting voltage the voltage where the diode starts conducting that is called as a cutting voltage the cutting voltage for the silicon just now we have discussed the cutting voltage is indicated by v gamma okay if it is if it is a silicon diode the cutting voltage is 0.7 volts and if it is germanium diode okay it is 0.3 volts so this is about the cutting voltage now what is knee point the forward voltage at which the current through the junction starts increasing rapidly is called as knee voltage okay so the point where the diode starts increasing rapidly is called as a knee point knee voltage now <coughs> reverse breakdown voltage so reverse weld breakdown voltage is indicated by vbr reverse breakdown voltage okay it is the reverse voltage at which the breakdown of the junction takes place and the reverse current rapidly increases okay that is called as a reverse breakdown voltage okay this is about the vi characteristics of the pn junction diode okay in the next class we will discuss about the uh, effect of temperature on the diode